you know, there were only three people that was talking about Sergey Kovalev. Three. Myself, Max Kellerman, and Hollywood from Philly. Hey. So, if it... That was it. <laughs> Maybe there was others. People are gonna be screaming, I said something about him. Nobody I know early on was talking about Sergey Kovalev. This before he was even on HBO. He was just a guy that you had to watch the fight to see. Chris Carlson may have spoke on him too, but I warned people about Sergey Kovalev. When everybody was screaming about Chad Dawson and Adonis Stevenson, I said, there's a guy that you guys don't know of. Everybody's talking about Triple G Golovkin. If Golovkin fought this guy, he would be knocked down in a matter of seconds. And that's Sergey Kovalev. Now, of course, he's killed someone in the ring. It was the lack of remorse from him that made me say, wow. When somebody takes a life in the ring, because that was not your goal. Your goal was just to beat the guy and get the victory. Your guy, your job, you were not there to take the guy's life. We've seen this have dramatic effect over people in their boxing careers. Because, you know, you got grieving family. You know, Ray Mancini's career was never the same after that. Sergey Kovalev didn't care. Not to say, like, oh, he has just no empathy. He really just didn't care. I looked at that and I said, oh, my God, this guy just don't care. He don't care. He literally is just, ah, screw it. He, he knew the risks. That was basically the attitude he had. But since the fight was overseas, it was overshadowed. Had it been in the United States, they would have villainized him. He would have been Ivan Drago, which is now the theme that they're playing for him and that Andre Ward is now Rocky, you know. This has got the capabilities of being the most epic fight of the year. It's definitely one of the most competitive on paper and skill-wise. Because Andre Ward is the crafty veteran. Kovalev is the guy that's the brute force power, the young guy. The promotional companies are backing. This is what HBO wanted. So, now... They have their blockbuster fight. Who will be successful? But Sergey Kovalev, Kovalev, you guys says he doesn't have any power. His power is because of some hand wraps. Well, I wouldn't put it past anybody. But I guarantee you, Andre Ward team with Virgil Hunter and all the rest of his guys in that corner are definitely 100% capable of handling a situation with hand wraps and anything else. Oh, there will be a discussion. I have no no doubts that they're going to be arguing and fighting before that bell ring about hand wraps. And how... His hands are wrapped. Then, after that's done, they're going to realize Kovalev is strong, period. He's just a strong Russian boy. His problem is going to be the variation in how difficult it is to land shots on Andre Ward. But we get to see what happens to Ward if he faces any adversity in the ring. Because we've seen a flat-footed, slowed-down Andre Ward in the last couple of fights, which don't really seem like it would fare him well against a guy like Sergey Kovalev. 
who looks like he's going to be doing a lot of coming forward, a lot of pushing the action, working off his jab. So we'll have to see because we were the ones that told y'all Kovalev was coming. He's now here. Now we get to see what he does. Against now, since Floyd's retired, the best fighter, pound for pound, in box, Andre Ward. Shaman Carcino, I'm out.